Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of The Sims 4 Every World as a Tiny Home. This week we are in the world of San Myshuno. And I know when you hear San Myshuno, you probably automatically think of apartments, right? Or it, maybe it's just me. <laughs> but since we are building a tiny house to represent each of the worlds, I had to do something other than an apartment. And I felt like a townhouse was the next best option to an apartment. To me, a townhouse really says city and I think this is a really cool way to represent San Myshuno. As you can see here, I have this shell that I put in next to the tiny home so everything flows really nice and it's not just this little brick tiny home sitting in the middle of the lot. <laughs> this is a tier three tiny home. I really needed to go on the larger side of the tiny home for this. Yeah. In order for it to actually feel like it belongs here and it fits in, I wanted to do four stories. And as you can see, this looks really nice as four stories. And it worked out really nicely in terms of space. There is two bedrooms in this place. There is one full bathroom and there are two half, half bathrooms, which is really awesome because <laughs> as I was building this, I was thinking there is no way I am going to have my bedroom all the way on the top floor and have to go all the way to the bottom floor to use the bathroom in the middle of the night. No way would I do that in real life. And also you do not want your Sims doing that because it's a waste of time and it's a pain. So these two tiny half bathrooms, yes, they do function. I play tested them, which is awesome. It's super, super awesome. Sam Ishuno was the world that came with city living and city living is not my favorite expansion. I think the world is really cool. Although <laughs> when I was doing my cinematography for this video, I was really able to tell that this was an early expansion. The worlds in The Sims 4 have gotten so much better over the years in terms of graphics and detail. It is still like, it is really cool. And I still really like this world. But then there's the whole issue of apartments, which are cool. But as a builder, I was really hoping that we were gonna get apartments that we could actually design ourselves, build our own apartments, do all that stuff. Like if any of you have been around since The Sims 2, you might remember The Sims 2, was it apartments? That was so awesome because you could actually build your own complexes. And then like the other apartments that you weren't using would just like close off and you wouldn't be able to see into them. It was just, it was awesome. So I know all the builders were super bummed out when we could not build our own apartments. And I think I've said this before in some of my other videos, what drives me insane about the apartments in this is yes, you can change out the windows and doors using the tool mod, but I don't like to have to do that. And then the the setup of the apartments are really stupid. They are so stupid, like window placement and everything is horrible. I feel like they were not thought out well. And then that drives me crazy. So I don't really like building apartments in this world because it's just not as enjoyable. So there's that. And then I am not a big fan of either the build and buy items or the cast items, even though I'm not really in cast a lot. I used to play the game more when this first came out. I hate the clothes. I absolutely hate the clothes. They're just, ugh. and I know there was like clothes that were supposed to be like high fashion clothes, which, okay, I understand. High fashion clothes in real life, a lot of them are, in my opinion, ugly. <laughs> <laughs> They're supposed to be works of art and one of a kind and I, I, I totally get that being like from the creator side of things. I totally understand it. And I think that would have been fine if we would have got like a runway show and like model career with this expansion. I think that would have been awesome. And then there would have been more reason to use those like high end, high fashion kind of clothes, but we don't have any of that. So it's a little bit disappointing. So yeah, the cast is, ugh, 
I, I don't like it. And it's just, a lot of it is just way too busy, too loud, like just too much. And then <laughs> when we get to build and buy, there is very minimal build items that came with this, which I guess shouldn't be surprised since we can't build our own apartments. So that's a bummer. And then the buy items that came with this expansion, I, I hate. I hate them. I'm sorry if any of you like them. <laughs> so I, I seriously tried my best to use like as many as possible for this apartment to be tasteful because that is the also the other issue with the build items is a lot of them are like very loud in your face, crazy insane colors like <laughs> the bathroom set. Oh gosh, the bathroom set, the sink and the shower. I absolutely hate with a passion. I don't know, have I ever used the shower? Maybe I think I did once. Ugh. And I actually like the sink. I just hate the colors. I absolutely hate the colors. So yeah, a lot of the items that came with this are just too, too much for me. They're just way too much. Uh, as you saw like in the kitchen downstairs, like I finally was able to use those like little kitchen cabinets instead of actual kitchen cabinets. So that was fun. I really like those. And then the table and chairs are not horrible. I was looking at like items for the living room and the couches that we got, I feel like are just way too high end and like futuristic modern kind of style to it. And I'm like, that is definitely not going here. That was more for like the penthouses and that kind of stuff. So it's like, I had to sort through stuff. I mean, this room of like the teen the teenager's room, I was actually able to use a decent amount of stuff, which is good. So like I said, I really, I really, really tried. Oh yeah, and then now I just realized, I remember the bathroom set came with the talking toilets. <laughs> which, you know what, okay. That is totally a Sims thing, and I'm not against the talking toilets. It's just, once again, the talking toilets are like crazy colors. So I did not even bother using them in this build. <laughs> right, Flynn? Yeah. Are you gonna talk? Would you talk to the talking toilet, Flynn? <laughs> There's no way I would have a talking toilet in real life. It's just too creepy. Do they exist? Do you guys, do they exist? <laughs> If that's what you would say to the talking toilet, Flynn? Peekaboo. Big surprise, huh? <laughs> but anyways, how do you all feel about this expansion? Do you like the build and buy items? And just because I don't does not mean that you can't like them. I, I just, I want to know your opinion. Do you like the build and buy? How do you feel about Cass? And I'm sure a lot of you really do like this world. I've heard in the community for a long time that a lot of people do like this expansion and I think it's just because the world is really cool. I am not a city person but I really like this world. I would love to get another city world and I love building city kind of stuff so if we could get another world with actual build and buy items that are more for like apartments, townhouses, maybe some little bit more industrial stuff. I know we have a decent amount of industrial stuff, but I, I would totally take more. <laughs> and if we could ever build apartments in The Sims 4, something tells me that's never gonna happen. I think I'm hoping in The Sims 5 that we'll be able to build apartments. If they- Peekaboo. <laughs> if they design The Sims 5 where we cannot build apartments in it, I think there's going to be a lot of angry rioting Sims people. <laughs> you don't care though. You're just happy no matter what. <laughs> Peekaboo. Would you like to say hi to everyone? No? Oh, no. You're, you're shy? No? Now you're tangled in my hair? Oh boy. Disaster. <laughs> As you can see here on the outside, I gave this home a nice little area in the back where there's some outside space. I feel like that's important. I don't know that it's super realistic in a really crowded city to have a lot of space, but there's like that little, little bit there. So Sims can go out there, grill out, have some family and friends over, not a ton of space, but yeah, grow some fruits and vegetables. And then I added in that debug 
fire staircase, fire escape, whatever it's called, <laughs> fire escape stairs. I have no idea. What's the actual term? <laughs> I don't live in the city. <laughs> but yeah, I felt like that just added that extra little bit of realism and kind of helped like blend everything together and just adding a little bit of landscaping. But as you guessed, we are getting towards the end of the video. So thank you so much once again for hanging out with us. I hope you enjoyed this build and video. This build will be up on the gallery as always, and you can check the details down below in the description for my gallery ID. And we will let you enjoy the rest of this video. Don't forget there is some cinematography in a tour form, and then there's also pictures at the end as always. So stick around for that. But yes, thank you so much once again, and we hope you have an amazing week. We'll see you in our next video, everyone. Bye!